Hello everyone. Good morning and good afternoon. Welcome to this week's session of the Amazon QuickSight learning series. This week's session will be on a deep dive into Demo Central, which will be done by our principal solutions architect, Srikant Baheti. Before we go into the actual session, I wanted to give you a quick plugin about the Amazon QuickSight community. Most of you should already be familiar with it and have registered to this session using the community. If not, community is simply a one stop shop for your BI journey. You can ask questions to get your queries answered. You can learn about different content. Uh, you can see what's new in terms of blog posts and events. Uh, please sign up if you have not using the information, which I'll be sharing shortly. Uh, a quick overview of some of the events we have. You are already part of the learning series and attending this. Um, other than that, every first Friday of the month, we have a session on new features. Second and third Wednesdays, we have our immersion days in Americas. One is tomorrow. Uh, third Wednesdays, we have immersion days in Europe as well. And finally, fourth Thursdays, we have a live Q&A sessions with our essays. So you can sign up for these events and based on your needs, take the best use of all the resources we are providing for your journey on being successful at Amazon QuickSight. We will use the Amazon QuickSight community to ask questions for this session as well. And we will use a tag, uh, which I will show you how to use to mark for the questions. The tag will be QLS dash demo central. Before I jump onto showcasing you how the community looks like and how to ask a question, I want to answer a question which commonly comes up and that is, will the session be recorded? The answer is yes, the session is being recorded and it will be posted on the community as well as our QuickSight YouTube channel. Okay, now let's look at uh, what the community looks like and uh, how to ask a question. You need to go to community.amazonquicksight.com. Once you land, you will see uh, the featured content on the community which generally is the upcoming events. Then below that you will have content tiles uh, wherein you can learn about different things, ask a question, the learning center, the what's new blog, events, etc. Uh, to ask a question, you can go to the question and answer tile. And when you land on this page, you will see some of the common, some of the past questions which are there. Um, if you were to search for a question, if it's already there, you can use the search style. But today we want to ask a question. So we'll go to new question. Um, and this should give you a pop up something like this. So you can ask your question here. And what you need to keep in mind is use the tag. So, which is for this session, hashtag QLS demo central. Once you tap in there, the tag will appear. You select the tag and ask, give details on your question. Something like this, whatever your question is. And you click new question. Once you do that, your question will be posted and people can answer it. Um, from our expert pool at a priority. Now uh, I'll hand over to Srikant to actually walk us through the demo central and how you can leverage it in your QuickSight journey. Over to you, Srikant. Thank, thank you so much, Shamal. Yeah. Hello, everyone, and uh, thank you for being uh, with us here today to learn about demo central. Right, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. All right. Uh, all right, so I have already pasted this URL uh, for Demo Central in chat. Uh, it's a publicly hosted website where there is a, lots of content that you can utilize to, to 
to up your game in quicksight right so demo central dot learn quicksight dot online is the website let's go ahead and load that once you load it it's setting up an environment so it takes a few seconds here to uh, load and create a user for you and everything first thing i would like to know uh, like you all to know is when you are in this website you have time like uh, if you see here you get like 59 minutes I, I have 39 minutes because I, I just loaded before as well so it's piggybacking on my session so I have 39 minutes here uh, left after that you you can refresh your page and re reload demo central and it will give you a new session altogether uh, if you are new here first time coming here uh, what you can do is you can go through a tutorial of a site tour by clicking on that info you you look at this and you, you it's a wizard where you can see okay how you can browse content folders how you can see dashboard demos how you can utilize queue feature demos these are all different areas and we'll walk through each of these today as we go along and and see how you can leverage each of these right so as you finish this it's going to give you a lot more information idea about demo central itself how to navigate within the site right next uh instead of clicking on info you can also take the site tour from here and it lands you to the same place i like to go into like the left menu here when you click on left menu you'll see a list of uh list of menu items here when one starts with like dashboard demos ask you uh there are different feature demos as we are rolling out more and more features here at Amazon QuickSight, the pace of innovation has been uh, really, really amazing. Uh, in my last two and a half years, I've seen uh, over 300 features rolled out, right? So as the new features are uh, getting rolled out, we want to make sure that most of the features uh, are ready for use and how to use it for, for you, you all. We create a demo and put it as part of Demo Central. So this is the area where you can look for new feature demos uh, where where and when possible, right? As we are rolling out features, we keep adding these uh, demos here. Uh, then there are tips and tricks. Uh, we have dashboards in other languages. Uh, there's like in links and info for further exploration. So let's start with dashboard demo. When you expand dashboard demo, there are a variety of uh, demos that are available here, uh, which, which are like built by our uh, our solutions architects built by our partners built by uh, our community uh, uh, which is internal bi community at amazon and we we try to bring all these uh, out of the possible demos so you you get an idea of uh, what is possible like some sometimes you 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 might run out of ideas when designing your dashboards but then when you look at something it gets gives you inspiration on okay hey this can be presented in a in this way and this is a sleek way to do it right so for example when when we had like fifa world cup uh, this de this demo was built for fifa world cup in 2020 and uh, as you can see this was like updated real time as every uh, Every game was progressing, uh, showing you different metrics, uh, showing you different charts and uh, how, what are all the different options. This is completely interactive. Again, to begin with, this is an embedded dashboard, right? So QuickSight offers embedding uh, where you can take these dashboards and embed into your applications. And some, a lot of times what we also hear is uh, when embedding what are all the different options you have, whether my interactions will work or not. So all those questions get answered through uh, many dashboards in here. Uh, this is just a standard dashboard, uh, but if you want to get really creative, my one of my favorite dashboards is like city bike dashboard here. If you look at the city bike dashboard, uh, it doesn't look like a conventional dashboard, but it is, uh, it is a dashboard that is made to look like uh, uh, made to look like a storytelling right uh, dashboards uh, are great with different visualizations but then un until and unless a dashboard tells a story it it doesn't really make sense so you can you can create like these uh, highly formatted uh, pixel perfect dashboards using quicksight and uh, you can see here this is a, a donut chart showing the journey of bikers in new york city 
and it gives you all the different points. It gives you means of uh, like filtering uh, by dates, etc. So all that is built into this beautiful dashboard here. Uh, and and the question is, at uh, often times, yes, I see that we can build this, right? But I hear like when I when I present these dashboards to our customers, I hear from customers like, hey, this is great, but what if I want to build something like this in my uh, with my data and uh, my thing? How can I go about finding how you did this? And oftentimes that is a challenge. So what we have also done as part of Demo Central is we have enabled uh, you to be able to see how this dashboard was implemented and what are all the mechanics it works. How, to, how do you get to that is through this icon here, which is our analysis icon. So when you, once you click that, it brings you the complete author authoring mode. QuickSight offers embedded authoring as well. And this is, you can enable it as part of your applications. It's not just like, okay, for demonstration purposes, we have built something unique. A lot of our ISV customers use embedded authoring to extend authoring for their end customers. Oftentimes you, your company might own data, but then uh, you're creating these uh, canned dashboards for your end customers. But at the same time, your customers are constantly saying like, okay, hey, I want to update this dashboard. I want to make this change. I want to have additional insights added to the dashboard. And that puts onus on your team to continuously keep updating dashboard, depending on how many customers you have, how many requests you are getting, and, and you're in that continuous maintenance cycle. In those cases, you can extend authoring capabilities on dashboards to your end customers using concept of multi-tenancy in uh, multi-tenancy in in QuickSight and extend that uh, embedded authoring through your application to your end customers, right? Again, uh, just to show you how we we ended in analysis mode is there is a there is a icon here for analysis mode or edit mode. You can just click on that pencil and the bar icon to load the analysis mode. Once you are in analysis mode, it is going to just create that analysis, have that analysis for you. And uh, now you can see, okay, what are each of these charts? Like this was a chart that was created and placed. What our freeform layout offers is uh, overlaying of visuals one over the other. It, it offers you to show hide visuals on certain actions, etc. So all those uh, are configured here. To get to this pixel perfect format, uh, there is like settings uh, here where you click on settings and then there is like freeform layout, right? That is the layout you will use if you want to overlay. For example, this is a this is a narrative uh, that you can build as a custom insight. So here, like if you go ahead and add, uh, there is add visual, add insight. It is a custom narrative insight that gives you uh, capability to add your text around your numbers and metrics. So, you, so you're telling a cohesive story to your end customers when they are on your dashboard. And, uh, and how this was built, you can always go in and, and look at, uh, so, so there are multiple uh, visuals here, so you can do customized narrative. In this narrative, if you see, it's just like total aggregate of the formatted value we are getting and that gives us this value always don't worry about breaking anything because nothing in this gets saved right uh, it saves for you when you uh, when you hit save here and uh, save as a new a new analysis or dashboard but when when you are in itself directly it is not going to save anything uh, because this is a temporary session that is created for you for just that one hour uh, we talked about, right? So this uh, environment is not going to be a persistent environment. It's going to continuously like uh, uh, refresh and recycle anything you are building in this uh, at the end of that one hour. Additionally, uh, for example, this visual, what is this visual? This visual is a donut chart. Uh, and what are the metrics it is using? Uh, you can look at like, what is the metric it is using? What is the, uh, color it is using all these charts right and then this is this one underneath it which which is uh this in itself is an image so if we if we look at 
this select select this piece of it uh, you will see that we have a uh, custom visual content and uh, you can you can also do edit format visual uh, it shows you second again going back to my visuals so this is within within quicksight right this is like uh, your visual and so this is another visual where you have this donut chart but underneath the donut chart because this is like layers of information that is available so you have to build this as a layer right so you move this now this one is so this is an image for that if we format visual it's going to show us how this visual was built Again, that's donut chart. That's the reason it is doing that. Uh, okay, so when I move my handle, it is going and changing that visual type. That's the reason. But you get an idea of like how you can you can see how different things are done. And this gets really powerful when you are looking for things like. Uh, so these are like different dashboards. I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through uh, a few of these dashboards here, right? Like if you go to airline industry dashboard, this is another dashboard. So you get a lot of inspiration on how how you can create different dashboards. Call center dashboard like tells a story of the customer experience. This is com coming from like Connect, uh, uh, Amazon Connect. Uh, data and it is built it gives you the story of how the calls were handled what were the times etc it tells a story in the end uh, with different formats and another thing is like themes etc you can apply images etc you can create and finally there is other thing that which, which i want to talk about as q for example if you go to q you have here q embedding wherein a dashboard is there, but along with the dashboard, you have a queue bar up here, which is again completely embeddable into your applications where your end users can ask questions in natural language and get answers to their questions instantaneously. Here is a good playground for you to understand how queue works and how what are the different capabilities queue offers. Right? So, for example, if I start typing show me and it's it's giving me like something or if I just say I want to look at monthly so it's giving me suggestions on different questions so average monthly sales of 2023 by gender in a natural language I'm just asking that I'm looking for that average monthly sales of 2023 by gender now it did not identify the gender right so you can you have an option to skip this item at that point Q will take your intent of average monthly sales of 2023 and it's going to give you the trend of sales in by 2023. So in data, Q was not able to find this gender, right? And because data did not have information about gender, but you typed in anyways, but you Q was able to understand the intent. It was able to, it was trying to match that intent under the hood to the data and provide you uh, information that, okay, hey, I couldn't find anything gender. Do you want me to skip it? or try differently. You could have deleted that and tried with a different term, or you could you, you could just skip it the way I skipped it and it will show you. So there is there is like Q, uh, a nice playground to play uh, before you want to sign up for Q because it's sign up, uh, Q is an ad, uh, additional add-on feature. Uh, and if in your company, Q is not enabled, you can always come to Demo Central, uh, try uh, asking variety of questions uh, to Q and uh, and see how how it behaves. Another thing which is beautiful about uh, demo central and this particular demo is more ways to Q. In this demo, to Q. In this demo, what happens is you can you can actually ask a question 
uh, one of our uh, solutions architect arun uh, arun santosh has done an amazing job of putting together different services uh, and uh, using like transcribe and uh, and other services he had made it possible to ask a question uh, for example if i just click on the microphone here and uh, say show me monthly sales So it's going to take that and uh, create that question uh, with voice. So you get inspiration from here, right? Again, like this is, uh, although the code and everything for this is not available, but then uh, in this way, we are explaining like, okay, audio is converted to text using transcribe and et cetera. So you get like, again, options here where you can think about uh, how you can utilize these type of uh, functionality that is out of the possible in your own use cases and implement them. And as always, when you are doing this, if you see something here, which you want to do, if you want to replicate, and if you are stuck, you're, you're not sure where to start, how to start, our team uh, here is available. You can always reach out to your account managers. You can always reach out to uh, through customer support and, uh, and, and post your questions and ask us, even community. You can ask the same thing on community as well and say like, hey, I, I saw this uh, cool demo on Demo Central and I want to replicate something like this, but I'm unable to figure out and our team will be always happy to do it. We are trying to enable uh, as much of uh, self-learning as possible through uh, through Demo Central, but at often uh, oftentimes you cannot put uh, so many details uh, into a web portal uh, as you can think in its stuff. So we do understand that. So we always uh, ask you to reach out to us either through community or through regular channels of your account manager and so on. And we are happy to help you with that. Next area in, in here, I would like to talk to you about as feature demos. Feature demos are like when when we recently released uh, something on APIs for enhanced APIs, uh, it was called assets as code. Uh, so in this, when you look at this, it, it and again, like there's a lot of information. It says like this opens up several possibilities, launch analysis view from left or top rail, launch code editor, explore analysis definition, change orientation, it gives you some some steps to play around with it, right? So you can always do that. Like if you click here, what what these enhanced APIs let you do is it brings the capabilities of programmatic BI. Until unless these APIs were released, you always had to create these dashboards from scratch manually. But now what we have rolled out is through APIs, if a dashboard is available, you can always bring code component of this dashboard, bring this definition in JSON format and and create your dashboard programmatically using an API. Here is the definition of the dashboard as you see. And, and if you want to change something in the definition and try this out, you can always do that. For example, change orientation in 120 uh, to vertical. So it is giving you a line number. So if you go down here to 120, Yeah, you should you should be able to do this on your screen. My for some reason my laptop is acting up today. Uh, but when you change this to vertical and and upload this definition, uh, you will be able to change this horizontal bar to a vertical bar. So that's how like programmatically you uh, you can make those changes uh, to your dashboards. But then how how it is done? There is like API calls under the hood, but the art of the possible is now with these enhanced APIs, you are able to take any dashboard or take any specification, convert it into the JSON format and create that dashboard programmatically. This really helps when you want to migrate from existing tools, uh, existing uh, your existing BI to QuickSight and you can automate all of that uh, using these APIs. Next, uh, I would like to show this is one example of the feature demo, right? There are many others like we once we launch like level aware calculations, for example. When we go to level aware calculations, we show demo of uh, all the different level aware calculations at different levels. 
uh, and you want to know, okay, how this was done again, your analysis view is really powerful. It helps you go into that analysis view and look at what are all the fields that are used here in this table. Select this table visual and if you look at this, there is a lacy W pre filter, uh, lacy W pre ag. These are all the fields as you scroll down. These are all the calculations and you can always like click here because you are in the edit mode. You are in the uh, you are in the analysis mode. You can look at the calculation. You can find how this calculation was done. Some over sales with pre filter, right? Same same way. It helps when you go into tips and tricks. A lot of times we have questions like, hey, how do I do a custom week start? Uh, how do I derive or change my time format from UTC to the local time zone, etc. So all of those demos, uh, if you look at it, there is demo here that shows, okay, my custom weeks, weekday start as three. And how, how did I do that? How can I do that is again, go into your, there is like calculations also provided here. We can add like weekday and, and it will be applied across your column or you can, you can always look at those calculations from analysis view and go back into analysis view. So there is a lot of uh, learning that can happen from here. For example, if you want to have uh, dynamic dimensions and measures again, in this case, there is example here that shows, okay, how you can dynamically change based on the user preference. You can dynamically change uh, the dimensions in your uh, thing. Same thing, you go in, you find those calculations, find how this was implemented and take it and apply it in your use case. I use this all the time because there are a lot of things that I want to figure out as well at times. And this really helps uh, with, with that. For example, this conditional uh, formatting that is available uh, with different colors and etc. We are going to add that soon, but like for conditional formatting until we add that natively, this is available. Another thing is for other languages, if you, uh, for example, we have customers in Japan. So we have dashboards that are built in Japan, Japanese and it shows those different uh, text, everything in Japanese here that is available. Finally, there is like links and info section where again, if you are not clear on uh, how this analysis view works, how you can start utilizing it as part of demo central cats versus dogs is uh, the place where you, you can get started. And why do I say that is because we have instructions here. Because right now I am telling you have to go into video and, and then figure out where to click, what to click, how to do it. All of that is documented for you here on this particular sample uh, cat versus dog, cats versus dog dashboard. For example, here we say like, let's first create an analysis out of the dashboard. So from the top left rail, click on this icon. So it, just, it gives you that, okay, from here, click on this icon. Then once the analysis has been created, you can delete the unwanted visuals that are showing you with the GIFs, how you can delete it, how you can add another visual, how you can now build that visual, which states prefer dogs to cats. So it gives you all those steps right in here so you can enhance your learning experience. You can play around with QuickSight Demo Central and be able to then start building your dashboards within here. You want to quickly try something uh, here Again, it is not persistent, but you can try it. Uh, for example, if I just go here in this analysis view, now I have my data sets that are available. For me on this data set, you can take it and create an analysis from here. Uh, an interactive sheet I want to create and you can start building a dashboard. You can start playing around with QuickSight for free without even creating your own account. Only thing is you will not have this persistent after one hour, this will, be, this will be lost. You refresh, you start again. So this is this is a great uh, great resource because you, you can get a feel of how you can use QuickSight, how you uh, 
uh, and you can extend it for your business users. You can extend it for your for people you want them to learn QuickSight. They can come here, uh, see these samples, get uh, get inspiration from all these other dashboards that are available, and also uh, through links and resources that Cats versus Dogs give them exactly all the step by step uh, information. Then there is like uh, embedded sessions. Uh, how embedding works. There is a, a link links here that shows how embedding works. It point talks to a, it takes you to a demo where it shows how embedded dashboard looks. Then there is like external demos. There is a list of demos that are available here uh, where you can go uh, click on these individual demos. This is going to open that demo into uh, its own website and and you can look at that demo from here. Uh, another thing under links and this is learning resources. This is one of the most liked areas I would say here is uh, it, it brings you to our workshops. And you can you can do a bunch of stuff from our workshops. There is like author workshops. There's paginated workshop, uh, paginated report workshop, queue workshop, admin workshop, anonymous user based embedding workshop, anonymous embedding workshop. So these are all like different persona based workshops that we have. And again, all these workshops are self uh, executable, which means you can take this workshop uh, and and start using Demo Central and try. Uh, uh, that SaaS sales uh, CSV is the same data set which I was showing earlier. Uh, so you can start building this workshop, start executing this workshop right in Demo Central and create your dashboard from there. That is also possible, right? Uh, so all this page here links you to all the workshops and then for developers specifically who are looking for how to implement embedding, it links, links also to our developer portal where within our developer portal, you can see uh, how things are done, like try it. Once you click on try it, uh, your embedding dashboard, how it how it looks. So it shows you a dashboard here, how it looks. Then there is a tab for how to embed it. So to get started, you need an account, obviously. Then you configure permissions. These are the permissions, IAM permissions that your server would require in order to be able to make uh, API calls to QuickSight, get embed URL. There is sample sample code here provided in various languages like Java, JavaScript, and Python, where you can download this code snippet, inject it into your own application, and uh, modify it as uh, as you need. And then finally, it shows you code snippet for how how you can embed this dashboard into your HTML page. Furthermore, it also gives you uh, information on how to customize it. Uh, you can go see how you can pass parameters, how you can enable print. There are various options uh, in an embedded dashboard and those are all configurable through our JavaScript SDK, uh, which is also linked here. Right. So uh, this is the learning resources section uh, where you can find uh, a lot more detailed learning where you can continue your learning from here and and learn more as someone is starting on quicksight they can come to learning resources go through the workshops and learn quicksight fairly fast so these are these are all the different options as you can see like i'm nearing my 8 minute mark uh, and and when I create a dashboard at the eight minute, it will just say your session has expired. Please refresh your screen. You will see a note there and uh, you will have to refresh that. Uh, and this is a like demo user that is created uh, for me. You can save this and. So I'm in analysis view right now. I'll go back to the dashboard view. So that's demo central for you. Uh, again, there is a search feature here. If you if you want to search for like, okay, I want to know weekday, whether you don't know, or you can just say calculation. If you are looking for certain calculation, it's going to filter out all the calculations. So are you looking for derived categories? Are you looking for start day, churn across months? So there are different calculations that are available. And again, let us know if you are struggling with uh, something on community. Uh, uh, so that we can go ahead and add those demos here, add those additional uh, 
resources here so you 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 can directly get access to how it is get how to implement these right as community is a one stop shop for all your questions and answers like uh, shamal was mentioning earlier uh, demo central is your one stop shop for all the inspiration you want to create these demos see how these different features work and learn how to implement these features thank you srikant this was really helpful i think it's one of the best tools uh, quicksight provides to its all customers to uh, one if start their journey two if they're already somewhere get more ideas and three uh, go deeper and figure out play around with the back end mechanics of some uh, state of the art best in class uh, bi products um i will quickly give you um, a synopsis of what's coming next so let me share my screen next week our learning series will talk about the embedding sdk 2.0 uh, that's a great offering we have uh, provided for our developer audience. So please, if uh, you are uh, that kind of a user who works at the back end, tries to embed or uses our SDK, this is a must attend session. Uh, it'll be Tuesday, uh, same time, 10 a.m. Pacific. You can register it on our community as always. And tomorrow we have our virtual author immersion day. Uh, that's a deep dive into the entire authoring experience. Uh, so those of you who want to get started or uh, learn about something in particular, ev almost everything under the author umbrella will be covered. Um, that is the monthly sessions, uh, once a month session I talked about earlier when we began. Uh, and other events also are lined up, which you can see on community at the link I'll be posting soon. So thank you all so much for your time. Hope you had a enjoyable learning session today. Uh, stay connected and please give your feedback on how we could improve these sessions. See you next week. Goodbye.